Uh, welcome to ICP Chemistry. In our very first chapter or unit that we're going to be uh, looking at will be the properties of matter. And in the properties of matter, we're going to be looking at what matter is and what, um, what are the different types of matter that exist. Uh, some are man-made, some are natural. But all matter can be broken down into two big categories. Uh, we're going to look at pure substances today. In the next video, we'll look at mixtures. So a pure substance is any type of matter that always has the same composition. So regardless of where you are and regardless of what it is, um, it is always going to have the same chemical makeup. The only two examples of pure substances that exist are elements and compounds. Now there's a lot of different types of elements and a lot of different types of compounds, but those are the only types of pure substances. So if a question ever asks you uh, what substance uh, has a certain characteristic, it's the answer is going to be an element or a compound. It can never be a mixture. So if we look at elements and compounds, an element is a substance that can't be broken down. It is already as small as it can be. Uh, you can't break it apart into anything else. Uh, so they have a fixed composition. Uh, it never changes. Oxygen, for example, is oxygen. It uh, doesn't change into something else. It's always oxygen. And uh, the atom is the smallest particle of an element. So you have oxygen atoms and you have nitrogen atoms. Uh, magnesium atoms, uh, every single element has a uh, different atom, different amounts of protons and neutrons and so on. If, uh, if you ever need to know if something is an element, the periodic table of elements is where you want to look. If it is not on this list, then it is not considered an element. Uh, water, for example, is actually H2O. You cannot find water on the periodic table. You can find hydrogen and you can find oxygen, uh, but when you combine them together, they're not elements anymore. It's be it has become a compound. So elements are on the periodic table uh, and you'll need to be able to reference that to know if something is an element or not. Some examples of elements. Uh, elements come in three different states of matter. You have solids, so things like uh, carbon, like uh, graphite, diamonds, gold, Gases, well, you have several gases, oxygen being one that we're probably very familiar with. And you only have two liquids on the periodic table, mercury being one that many of you have probably heard of. So all of them come in one of these three forms, either solid, which the majority of them are solids. You do have a few liquids and then gases. Now the other type of pure substance is a compound. And a compound, like I mentioned before, has to be two or more elements that are bonded together. And so you can um, break a compound down back into the original elements. Uh, that's not something that you can just do with your bare hands. It has to chemically be broken apart, uh, but it can be broken down. Uh, water, for example, if you um, pass electricity through water, uh, you actually can break it apart back into the hydrogen gas and the oxygen gas that make water up. The compound itself is, has a different property than the smaller substances. So as, um, as just hydrogen, it's a gas. Just oxygen, it's a gas. But yet when they combine together, uh, water at room temperature is a liquid, unlike the individual elements, which are gases. So the compound is going to have different characteristics than the individual elements are going to. And a compound has to be two or more elements that are joined um, and it says in a fixed proportion. So fixed means it's not going to change. Proportion means we'll always have to have the same amount of them. So I keep referring to water, but water is always two H's and one oxygen. You can't have one hydrogen and two oxygens. That's a different compound. It's not water anymore. Uh, so that would be um, a characteristic you should know about compounds. They always have a fixed proportion. And that's where we'll stop for this video, and we'll get into mixtures with our next video, which is another type of matter.